the Zaps chips are terrific. Hi everybody, welcome back to our Groovy Life. So tonight is the first time that we're going to do chip tasting for you. We've done a lot of uh, other things lately, but nothing to do with chips, and we have a whole bunch of chips in stock to try for a whole bunch of different things. Tonight, we're going to do Zaps from New Orleans. So first off, the Zaps Spicy Craw Taters, one of my absolute favorite chips in the world, so it's kind of uh, kind of cheating for me to be tasting them for you tonight, but <laughs> it's because I want to taste them again, because I love these chips. So Zaps Craw Taters, fabulous. Found those probably, oh my gosh, 30 years ago, and I've loved them ever since. Um, also, Zaps Voodoo, another fabulous chip that's been around for a long time um, by the same company. Terrific chip we'll be trying for tonight. And then one of their recent ones is they did a Voodoo Heat version. Um, and I thought these were good already, but they kicked it up a notch. I have not had these personally yet. Um, and I'm not sure that my wife and oldest daughter have had any of them, actually. Nope. Nope. So, this is going to be fun. So, we are going to open them up, and here we go. Also, as you all know, we like to try a little bit different water um, every time. So, not every time do we do a water, but, but often we like to try a water with it. Uh, because we like to try different water from around the world. Tonight, we are having... What is it, Gabby? It is Tahoe water, and this is actually from Soda Springs, California, not too far from um, Reno, Nevada, right there by Tahoe Lake. So, it's good. Or Lake Tahoe, as most people Or Lake Tahoe, what I say? Tahoe Lake. I mean, <laughs> Lake Tahoe. <laughs> so, potato, potato. That's funny. And... So, it's going to be <laughs> fabulous. So, we're looking forward to take, tasting some Tahoe water from Tahoe Lake, Reno, California. Just outside of Reno. Just outside of Reno. Just over by uh, Belfast. That uh, way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and pour it out. My bad. And is everybody going to take a smidge? Yeah. Let's take a smidge. Grab one while Gabby's pouring some Tahoe water out for us. And I absolutely. Uh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm going to put a few in front of me because I love this one so much. Grab some of those. I love this. Take chip. one, pass it down. Take one, pass it down. Fine, two. Okay. Right, so we're taking this couple of these ones. Mm -hmm. I just love that chip. This chip takes me back mm. to sitting wow. in Buras or very southern Louisiana or Plaquemines Parish, somewhere in there, and having them throw some mud bugs on the table in front of me. And sitting there and eating pounds of them. Like, well, you can suck the heads out, and that's great. But beers and mud bugs and shrimp thrown on the newspaper on the table. I just love that. First time I ever went down there, and I ate in Buras with a friend of mine from college. We went down there to teach school, and uh, the lady at the place asked me, "How many do you want?" And I said. Oh, what are we having? Oh, crawfish, mud bugs. And I said, oh, I don't know, I'll have three or four of them. And everybody laughed at me <laughs> because you order mud bugs by the pound, not by the individual. Um, so I learned, never got laughed at again because I love them so much. But this chip reminds me of that. They're very crunchy. Mm -hmm. They're very good though. I like very those. Very crunchy. They're very crunchy. They're just a wonderful flavor to them. They turn a lot of people off because they're just such a different taste than what you've ever had in a chip before. I don't feel like they're too far off. They're they're really good. They're really, really good. They're really good. So they're very different than anything I've ever tasted before. Mm -hmm. They a little salty. I really like I've had these before. They have a little bit of salt to them, but they're uh, again much more much more good than that. Sitting in a crawfish boil. Mm -hmm. I would seek those out. Those are really good. Mm -hmm. I love those things. They're just tasty. So if I you know, never that, that size bag is dangerous. Some, yeah, this, this could be an individual size bag. They've got a little zip to them. Yeah. Sherry size. size. Yeah, this is a five <laughs> ounces. That's a, that's the, a that's snack, a snack size. size. Yeah. That's a snack <laughs> size. That's a snack size. They're so are these available wonderful. all the time? Are you know, there used to be a point at which you could only get them around Mardi Gras. I believe that... Uh, I've been seeing them a lot more throughout the year, so I'm not really sure. So I think that 
In New Orleans, you can get them year-round, but maybe they don't bring them into other parts of the country except for Mardi Gras, because um, that's how they market themselves. But um, I'm pretty sure in, in Louisiana, you can get them all the time. Mm -hmm. okay. So? Okay, I'm tasting, is there a lot of pepper in this? There's a lot of pepper in it. Because that's one of my favorite things. So I'm getting pepper. There's pepper, pepper and a lot of. Uh, I'm getting pepper now. A lot of almost like the Zatarans boil season. Like black pepper, not jalapenos. It's a black pepper. I love, a lot black, of black pepper. pepper. So I, I like those. Yeah, so that one's always good. I don't think I've ever tasted them before. I've seen them a hundred times. Right. And you've always eaten them all. So that one's a hit. Okay. Um, so next up, again, chip that they've had forever is the voodoo, voodoo chip. Straight up voodoo. And what flavor is voodoo? I'm we scared. have to find out. I'm scared. It's different for everybody. You're smirking. I'm not. I want you to try them. I think it's great. Cool. Oh, they smell kind of buffalo-y. I love voodoo chips, too. Sweet. Mm -hmm. They're sweet. Got some vin vinegar on those. Woo! Oh, hell. <laughs> My mouth is just like sweet water. Sweet vinegar is so good. <laughs> Sweet. I thought those were gonna, gonna be. I thought those were gonna be spicy. Mm. I was a little worried. So they're different for everybody. They're voodoo. They're sweet when you taste them, and then your your mouth goes because there's a vinegar. It's very. How oh, very vinegary. Very vinegar. Very vinegar. Ooh, I like them though. Those are good. I like Thank them. You. I like those. I like that. They're like kind of like mm. salt and vinegar chips, but they're not as like BAM with the vinegar. Yeah, maybe kind of a United States version of a British salt and vinegar chip. Yeah. Probably. I don't usually eat those. I'm not a mm. fan of the over-the-top vinegar thing. No, I, I don't um, think it's over-the-top over vinegar. Mm -mm. I think they're just very tasty. To me, they're just one of those, uh, unfortunately, again, another one of those chips where you can eat just too many of them. Um, everything that Zaps has ever done to me is great. Again, I've never tried these because this came, I believe, after they, the company was purchased and they created a different flavor, but I believe that's true. If I'm wrong, let me know below or give me the story because I haven't looked it up. Um, but great products all the time. Love the water, too. Yeah, I yeah, yeah I already, mine's almost never gone. Had really well, mine's good. gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I like the bottle shape, water. it's different. It actually had tasting notes on this bottle. Um, sometimes we get that on some of the waters that we try, um, but not always. This one's tasting notes are low minerality, soft, light, and neutral. And definitely soft. I think that they definitely, got it exactly yeah, definitely right. Definitely soft water. It's very soft water, very light. Just a, just a great drinking water. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so good job, Tahoe Lake people. <laughs> The local choice. Just outside of Reno. Yep. The local choice. They drink it in, well, they might drink it in Lake Tahoe too, I'm not sure. But, <laughs> yummy. I think it just comes out of the tap there. Well, probably it probably does. It probably does. So, solid water. Okay. Here is the voodoo heat. And now I'm afraid. afraid to so, I don't know. I don't know. I thought that was going to be spicy and it wasn't even close. I was fooling with you all. They're just tasty. You were trying to trick me into thinking who was scary. Mm -hmm. Well, that wasn't much of a chip. Mm. They're so spicy. What's that? They're so spicy. I like it though. Mm -hmm. You can, can tell that it's. It? No, you can tell that it's this chip, but with just a little bit. There's a little bit more Cajun-y, more of a Creole. It's really not Cajun because yeah. Cajun's a little bit more spicy. It's more of a Creole flavor. Cajun flavor. You can tell that it's the same basic chip but with a little bit more yeah. jazz on it. That's very, very good though. I wow. like these ones. Mm -hmm. Less vinegar. After you can still I... taste the vinegar. Yeah. Just, I think it's just covered up by a little bit more of like the Creole, the flavoring. Hmm. I think that's 
Yeah. That's really good. Mm -hmm. I like them a lot. Yeah, those ones are really good. So these will definitely it's not, it's not that we buy chips that often outside of the tastings, but um, those are these would contender. definitely be, yeah, these would definitely be. Those are contender. Be for like okay, I better have another pot here because those are just amazing. All right, Rafi, what do you think? I'm not sure. I'm trying to put them in order right now because they're all very different than any chip that I normally would choose. Oh wow! I can go from that chip to that chip. I got so much flavor out of those. Mm -hmm. Ooh! Yeah, these are major flavor. Yeah. So you don't have to necessarily pick one, two, three. Um, if these three were sitting there, I would take this one first and probably this one second. And this one is just a little bit too much of the vinegar after bite for me that I'm not a fan. Uh, I'm not a fan of, but a lot of people like salt and vinegar chips. So, if you like those? Go after this one. That surprises me that after all these years, my wife says that she would take these number one. <laughs> he was that, surprises those me. that just surprises me. I think uh, <laughs> that's awesome. That's great because they're just such a great chip. What about you, Gab? What do you think? Mm. Don't have to take a one, two, three, but any other thoughts? I mean, I really like this one and that one. I would seek those two out. Those are, they're really good, I think. Can't go wrong with any of them. Yeah, I think that they're all just fabulous, but this will always be in my top five of chips. And it's weird because if I had to literally write down the top five of my favorite chips, they would have nothing to do with what's, each other whatsoever. So there would be spicy craw taters, there would be regular old everyday ruffles, <laughs> there would be, I mean, just totally all over the board. Mm -hmm. But these are without a doubt in the top five and always and have been for 30 years and will continue to be. They're just great chips. And these are fabulous too, but I think I agree. As much as I've had these over the years, I think I like these better. These. Just because there's just a little bit different something going on, a little bit more, yeah, not not sp not sp spicy spice, but a little bit more spice going on to yeah. it. Yeah, it's just like. a Cajun kind of spice. I think that, it's more Creole than yeah, it is that, Cajun. Not jalapenos and habaneros and ghost peppers and yeah. stuff. It's a Cajun it's Creole spice. So if there's anything that I would have to say to this company that I love, particularly since they have. Uh, uh, Obviously got some new flavors going on here and there. Um, and if you're gonna continue on with the voodoo name, do a black and voodoo. Do a Cajun black and voodoo. I bet you can come up with something really cool. I'll even help you taste it, <laughs> taste test it. He would. Because um, that could be really good. But but I love the sticking with the voodoo because that's perfectly in line with New Orleans and what's going on, but a black and voodoo would be great. But all in all, I think, uh, the Lake Tahoe water was, was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. it was um, really, good. really, really good. Mine's all gone. And again, the Zaps chips are terrific. So thanks for that, and uh, thanks for joining us. We'll try many chips for you again at our movie life. So uh, thanks for stopping by. Bye. Bye. Bye.